George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel was a German philosopher and central figure in the movement known as German Idealism. German Idealism was a reaction against Kant's critique of pure reason. This needs a little explanation. Kant was a German philosopher who lived during the Enlightenment. His main work was the critique of pure reason. He argued that reason needed to be supported by experience. His approach facilitated a reconciliation of empiricism and rationalism. Other figures in the German idealism movement were Jacobi, Reinhold, Schultz, Fichte, Schelling, Schleiermacher and Mammon. There are many notable comments about German idealism. G. E. Moore wrote that, quote, Modern idealism, if it asserts any general conclusion about the universe at all, asserts that it is spiritual, unquote. Karl Popper wrote that, quote, It confronts us with its dictum, and we can take it or leave it, unquote. However, Schopenhauer wrote that in response to materialism, quote, the real and true safeguard is idealism, unquote. Returning to Hegel, his main ideas included the dialectic, absolute idealism, ethical life and spirit. Hegel's works were written by him, about him or posthumously based on his lectures. These works included the difference between Feicht's and Schelling's systems of philosophy, the German constitution, phenomenology of the mind, phenomenology of spirit, science of logic, encyclopedia of the philosophical sciences, the logic of Hegel, Hegel's philosophy of nature, Hegel's philosophy of mind, elements of the philosophy of right, lectures on aesthetics, lectures on the philosophy of history, lectures on the history of philosophy. Hegel influenced many other figures including Karl Marx, Friedrich Engels, Lev Vygotsky, Jean-Paul Sartre, Arthur Schopenhauer, Friedrich Schelling, Soren Kierkegaard, Friedrich Nietzsche, Bertrand Russell, and Martin Heidegger. Heigl was born on August the 27th, 1770 in Stuttgart in Germany. His father worked at the revenue offices and his mother died when he was just 11. He attended the University of Tübingen in 1788 where he studied with Schelling, who would become a noted philosopher, and Friedrich Holderlin, a poet. They followed the events of the French Revolution closely. He gained a certificate in theology and began to work as a house tutor in Bern. His friend and poet Holderlin arranged for him to take up a similar role in Frankfurt. He then moved to Jena University with the support of friend and philosopher Schelling in 1801. Hegel wrote his first book, The Difference Between Feicht's and Schelling's Systems of Philosophy. In 1802, Schelling and Hegel started up the Critical Journal of Philosophy, which continued until Schelling left Jena in 1803. In 1805, Hegel was promoted to Extraordinary Professor. In 1806, Napoleon fought the Prussian troops at the Battle of Jena. Hegel witnessed Napoleon entering Jena on the eve of the battle. This was to be a formative experience for Hegel, who described Napoleon as the, quote, world spirit on horseback, unquote. After the battle, many students from the university fled the city, and Hegel's financial position became more difficult. He also became a father in 1807. In the same year, he moved to Bamberg, where he took up a position as editor of a newspaper. In 1808, he took up a position as headmaster at a gymnasium in Nuremberg until 1816. In his capacity as headmaster, his book The Phenomenology of Mind formed a basis for some of his teaching. He married Marie von Tuscher in 1811. His work The Science of Logic was published in three parts in 1812 to 1816. He fathered two more children in 1813 and 1814. Hegel moved to Berlin in 1816. In 1817 he published the Encyclopedia of the Philosophical Sciences in outline. In 1818 he became the Chair of Philosophy at the University of Berlin. In 1821 he published The Philosophy of Right. 
He became the rector of the university in 1830 and died on the 14th of November 1831.